when my son was born, I, uh, I quit the job that I was doing. And then I started thinking about what else could I do. And um, since I was a, a fresh mom, so a new mom, everything that has to do with women and children was uh, yeah, very appealing to me. When I visited my home in Ecuador, um, I happened I, almost by chance to visit a home for single mothers and realized how they, they lived. I told a few friends of mine about it and they said, you know, let's do something. Let's, let's make just a, a, an event and see what happens with it. So we did that and I think in that first event we raised something like 3,680 Swiss francs or something like that. But at that point, I was, Ecuador was much, much cheaper than it is right now. So we went back with the money a few months later and we could really help um, do lots of things in this home, in this, in this building where they were living. Then we start focusing more and more in education, trying to send them to school, trying to teach them, uh, to offer them courses so that they can learn uh, new things, um, and, um, and really trying to, to push them to start a, a, a life where they can sustain themselves, that, that they can gain the money themselves. We start um, working with universities and with other local institutions to offer women courses. So our part is to coordinate, to bring the group together, to make sure that they attend to classes, uh, to make sure that the university um, understand what our women need. And then the university are the ones to offer the space, the materials and the teachers. We are a link in between the two of them and we make sure that um, that what happens there is exactly what the women need and the universities. The good thing for them is that they need to do social work. So at the end of the day, it's a win-win-win situation. What we face more, it's problems more with um, uh, time or even money. For example, um, but one course, many women came from a um, uh, little town outside the city and um, they were not coming regularly. We thought, okay, it's normal because they are coming from so far away. It was a financial problem. At the beginning, they didn't calculate how, many, how much money they would need for the transportation uh, both ways every Saturday that, when the, the courses um, um, took place. Um, and then when they realized how much money was adding by paying all this transportation, they couldn't afford it anymore. We rent a little bus and we pick up the women from different points of the city just to make sure money is not a problem, transportation is not a problem. And, uh, and women are attending to the courses now without exception. Besides the women, we had projects for um, sick children. And what we do is we work in a, in a regional hospital, so that's the biggest hospital of my, of my hometown. And um, to this hospital come children who are very sick, so not little things, but children who have, for example, cancer. And uh, this means these children are there for a long time. The project was meant to be for the children, but we realized that if, if we wanted the mothers to take care of the children, that was the, the idea, to, to, to keep the mothers there or to ask the mothers to stay there, we also have to give the mothers something because it was a very, very um, difficult situation they were going through. And we thought one of the easiest things is that they can do... Um, um, Knitting. So we bought materials and uh, we took um, a, a lady, uh, we asked a lady to, to come and teach the women to do that. And that was a, a little success. So women were happy doing, exchanging information. And then we saw that they started selling the things they were doing. And then the idea was like, okay, this is something that women like to do. They learn fast and they can sell it. So that could be an idea that we could reproduce, take it out of the hospital and reproduce it in our own um, office. These women, they can come to the office, learn what they have to learn, take the materials, take them home, one, two, three days la later, depending on, on, the, on the bag that they are doing or the article they are doing, they come back and they bring us the, the, uh, the piece already needed. And I start having people asking me, where did you get the bag and nice and tralan? We said, okay, then let's try to go one step forward and sell the bags so we can kind of cross, um, close this circle. People appreciate the handwork. People appreciate that uh, when you get a bag, you know exactly who did your bag. It comes with a tag with the name of the woman, the picture of the woman. So it creates like a relation. You know exactly who you are 
um, supporting. And um, uh, also um, we tell the people that when you buy a bag, it's not only this woman that you are helping, it's the whole foundation and all of the programs of the foundation. Mm -hmm.